In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to grow your construction company through referrals. Hey everybody, I'm Mike Claudio, owner of WinRate Consulting and host of the Big Stud Sales Podcast. You have heard me preach about referrals for a really long time. If you engage with any of my content between Facebook, Instagram, the podcast, the YouTube channel, you know I preach a lot about referrals. But I wanna double down a little bit and give you some incredibly tactical ways for you to do that. Look, if you're basing your entire business model on ad spend, lead generation, funnels, print advertising, or just general marketing and advertising, you're going to run out of options at some point. I've seen it happen where you're one or two salespeople, you're spending enough money to keep them fed with leads, and then you get four salespeople and six salespeople and eight or 10 salespeople. And all of a sudden, you can't afford to keep them all fed with leads anymore. In today's environment, it is significantly more powerful for your salespeople to build their own brand, their own reputation under your umbrella so they get known, liked, and trusted in your marketplace so referrals come in. So the first thing I think you need to do is train your people on how to do that. If you don't know, reach out, I'd love to help you. But in general, your salespeople need to have their own awareness, their own reputation, their own image, their own no like and trust factor for themselves so that they can help you expand your brand coverage. Market share works when you're building relationships. If you're just spending money on ads and advertising, you're just at the top for as long as you're paying for it or as long as the algorithm's where you want it or as long as Facebook doesn't change the way they do things. That's a really scary place to put your business in the hands of another company, people by people. So make sure your sales team is trained on how to use social media, how to network, how to prospect, how to find referral partners. It's really important because that'll help referrals come in that are much more likely to close, higher value, better qualified than the door knockers and tire kickers that come through advertising. It's also become very expensive, right? Referrals are free. People refer them because they want you to take care of them. Per leads, per click, per ad, has gotten very expensive, especially if you're a small business. It could drown you. I know people spending five, ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 a month on their online ads and pay-per-click, and it's not sustainable. So how to get referrals a little bit more effectively. First off, talk about it. So many people try and sell direct to consumer with every piece of their content. Every ad they do, every print, every decision they make is direct to consumer. Focusing on the referral partners you can help, i.e. real estate agents, financial advisors, bigger or smaller construction companies, anybody who has in-home experience that's around clients you'd wanna work with. Maybe it is your flooring guy. If you're a window company, maybe it is the painting company or the siding company. Going after some of those businesses can help get you highly qualified closed deals because they need you to submit and complete the overall project. So don't just talk about direct to consumer stuff. Also put some stuff in the marketplace about the other businesses you can support. You're still selling to the consumer, you're still doing B to C work, business to consumer work, but those other businesses who already have that reputation with that homeowner is a significantly higher value when it comes to the referral that they bring in. Because just think, look at you as a consumer. If you had somebody you trusted already that said, hey, no, you gotta call my guy Mike, you're gonna call Mike and likely hire Mike as long as Mike delivers on the expectations that you have. So create some messaging, create some content, create some email blasts, create some networking approach, create some prospecting for you and your team to go out and find those types of businesses that would benefit from you being referred to their client base. Second, you need to create importance around referrals. If you look at it from the cost per lead perspective, you save a lot of money. There's a lot of people out there spending 100, 200, $500 on a lead based on what they're spending everywhere else. Well, if you have a sales team, pay them more on referrals, guide them in that direction and compensate them for that. The best way to change a salesperson activity is to compensate them differently. So if you have an environment where referrals are not where you need them to be, create bonus structures, compensation, higher commission rates on the referral because it's just not costing you any money to get it. So if, you, if you're looking at your cost per lead perspective and it's, let's say it's 60, 70, 80, $100, pay that money to the 
the sales rep, which promotes them to go get more of those clients, which increases your referral, which increases your close rate and increases the quality of the clients and projects you're getting. Third, appreciate your referral partners. I don't know when saying thank you became such like a faux pas thing to do, but when someone refers you, send them a text message, give them a call every time, not just the first couple. Every time someone says, oh, I heard from you from so-and-so, pick up the phone, said, hey, I heard from Ryan. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That was a great lead for me. Also, don't be afraid to call that referral partner and said, hey, I heard from Mike and he's not the type of person we want to work with. I appreciate it. I referred them to somebody that can help them, but here's why it's not the best referral for me because I don't want to set you up as the referral partner for failure because as a referral partner, if you refer somebody and they're not taken care of, that person blames me as the person that referred you. Those are three very, very tactical things that you can implement right away in your business. I'll promise you, I sold almost $10 million in construction projects over five years without spending any money on ads, without spending any money on marketing, nothing. Everything I did was about building relationships with referral partners. I've done it, I've trained people to do it, and I want you to do it. So if you're struggling right now with a super big ad spend, or you're just not sure where your marketing dollars are working, or your sales team is 100% reliant on you to provide leads for them to be successful, I hate to say it, but you're gonna fail. All it's gonna take is one change in the algorithm, one change in Facebook's rules, one way that, that Google decides to do something differently or prices to increase, and you're gonna be in a really, really bad spot. So I'm not saying switch over immediately and cut all ad spend, I'm saying start to make the pivot. Start to promote referral generation. Start to promote connecting with referral partners. Start to promote and compensate salespeople for getting referrals as opposed to closing deals you're bringing to the table. I promise you, you'll thank me for it a year from now. I'm Mike Claudio, owner of WinRate Consulting. I'd love to talk to you and work with you. If nothing else, I'd love for you to jump over to your podcast program, whatever you utilize and subscribe to Big Stud Sales. I put out weekly content there that is very similar to this, but I have a co-host that's awesome as well and Ryan would love to hear from you. So if you jump over there, make sure to listen, make sure to subscribe, make sure to leave a review, and make sure you mention Ryan. Appreciate you, continue to win fast, and win often.